WhatsApp you do. So, I'm back with another video. Listen, this singleness thing, it's an epidemic. Say what you want. I say what I said, and I believe it, and I stand by it. It is an epidemic. People out here doing mad things, okay? People out here snatching people that are already taken because they're so desperate that there is nobody else out there. People out here church hopping to find the right one. Out here going on these funny shows, married at first sight. Like how scary is that title? 90 day fiance looking for people uh, abroad. You got these catfish stories. You got love after lockup. I would know because I've reviewed this on my channel. Okay, people are looking for inmates to marry. I mean, it, it, the world is going crazy. There's this video talking about, is it okay to date your boss? And it's from Good Morning Britain. So I'm gonna see what they talking about. When two people come together, where there's an imbalance of power, um, you know, with a, with a boss or a subordinate, um, there's a really fine line between a consensual relationship and an inappropriate one. Well, this guy, but this McDonald's guy. Oh, shebang is about the McDonald's boss, Steve Easterbrook was fired after dating an employee so he's the chief executive of mcdonald's and he's been fired because he had a relationship with an employee now he does say that the relationship was consensual but apparently he violated company policy and showed poor judgment and therefore had to go he's 52 years old he's divorced McDonald's has said that it has long-standing rules against conflicts of interest, which they deem this to be, and they do not want to provide any further information about whom he had the relationship with. So there is actually no information out there that I could find about who that employee was. Um, you know, was this person flipping burgers? I mean, who was this person? We don't know. In the era of Me Too, companies are very keen um, to seem not only to have a policy for this type of situation, but also seem to be enforcing it at all levels. They already have somebody to replace him. And child, the whole story is just, it's kind of messy. And so that begged the question, is it okay to date your boss? And that is what they are talking about. So let's see what they got to say, shall we? So the lady actually goes on to say that there's a problem if people are dating within a company of different hierarchies, that that can create a personal problem, that the, that the relationship within the business can create a personal problem. So Piers Morgan asks her, who is allowed to date their boss? Take out you can only date you, people who are exactly the same level as you. If you take out that element, I think it's less concerning because you don't have that concern so just to clarify, around you don't. Why is he not letting her speak? I, I, I can't get with that. Whenever you're in a conversation or a discussion, you need to let the other person speak. If you really think your dad boss a person and you have so many valid points to make, you're never going to let the other person dig that hole for themselves so that you can be triumphant at the end of the discussion if you don't let them speak and dig that hole for themselves. Like, I don't understand what good it is to just speak over somebody so that we only hear your point of view and don't hear the other point of view that, according to you, is so useless, but you haven't heard it yet. But okay. Then the lady goes on to say, now, hold on a minute. Dating within the same hierarchy has its issues as well. Then the other lady says, so where are you supposed to meet people? Because... Because most of us meet, most of us spend the majority of our time at work. Well, hang on, what's the issue, hang on, what's the issue with somebody of the same rank having a relationship with another person? Most of us spend most of our time at work. This, this is true. That's just facts. That, that's just facts. That everybody spends their, you know, most people are gainfully employed, thank you Jesus, spend most of their time at work. And that's why you also have to do things outside of work because we all know that work and life mixed together, it don't always work. Join clubs, go to classes, blah, 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 do different type of things so that, you know, there's already enough gossip and weird stuff going on at work. You do not want to add to that problem. And affect the decision-making process of that business for, to further whatever the goal right, is. So you really want office romances dead, gone. 
I yes. think that there should be guidelines around office romance. Well, tell me so, one that would be acceptable to you under your rules. So far from it, you can't legislate Give me one example. Love, however, one example of an office romance you'd be comfortable with. I think if people were in different teams, so the decision-making process is not effective. And what if somebody in the right in the other team then becomes the boss? You can't legislate this stuff. You 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 just you can't you can't legislate it. You can't say okay this is the rule if it's somebody from team a and team b they can be together they can date but if they are both in team a you can't it's hard enough to find somebody out there as it is when people do find that one person and you're not going to leave your job because of that even though people have done that in the past i don't think you can legislate this love is love is love if it's not incest it's not bad it's not wrong it's not forced and it's consensual i don't know how i can put too many restrictions on that i'm just trying to think of better examples but i I don't know how you can do that. I don't think people should be in a relationship working in a more senior and more junior okay. direct, 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 direct support. support. So yeah. when I run a show. Then Pierce goes on to say that when he worked at CNN, there were three members of staff that were actually married with other members of staff and that there was a slight imbalance in their hierarchy. He basically is of the opinion that it is okay to date within your work because traditionally that is where place you meet your exactly. partner. Which I mean, is where you people. met your husband. Not in the office, but at work. She then goes on to say that she would be some unhappy person if she had not met this person at work, unless she may have gone down the online route or something like that. So she's also saying there is nothing wrong with this. She then also goes on to say that she's not a socialite, she's not a you know outgoing kind of person, so she wouldn't have met the person that she's with now. Then she goes on to say that she has a friend whose parents were actually working in the same place and and they've been married for decades if the boss is having a relationship with somebody who's lower down uh other people might feel that individual is getting special perks special promotion special treatment but how then, would you rule that out how would you rule that out yeah you you can't really you just have to try to be fair i mean people would know that obviously you know they they're in a relationship, so there's, there's gonna be some, yeah, there's gonna be some bit of bias here and there ever so slightly, but there are also people, I guess, who can, who can separate the two and don't do that. Going into the era of nepotism, uh, is it nepotism? Yeah. You know, when you have a favoritism. Of, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's part of the workplace. At the moment, a friend of mine, her dad owns the company. She works for him. I promise you, it's the opposite of favoritism. Yeah. So it's but the perception whatever, but, of favoritism, even if even if both people but, are incredibly but, but professional, okay. the perception of favoritism. But you make and friends at work, don't you? Do, exactly, yeah. arguing the other I don't think we can deal too much with the perception of other people. She's talking about the perception of favoritism. I mean, and what if that isn't what is going on? People are always going to assume a thing or another. Does that mean that people have to, you know, stay away from their chance of being happy because of that? No. Like what if your best friend's the boss and you're not actually in a relationship Precisely. with them? I, how, can you, how can you legislate against how people get on and what level of friendship they have in the workplace? I, unless you want robots, I don't think it's really going to work, is it? I think most people would agree being parent-child or be in a sexual relationship mm. is different to having friends at work. Mm. And I think we have to sort of make that distinction um, and, you know, be careful around... Uh, as we said, it's not just bad for the two people involved potentially because there can be employment tribunals if the relationship breaks down what happens then colleagues can feel all that's the thing when the relationship goes bust and that it's all over it's a wrap and everybody's gonna know about it and you're gonna have to see each other every single day and as i said at the beginning this is where people spend most of their time so it's gonna be super awkward Still don't have to prevent it though, because it also could be something super beautiful. And even something that even the co-workers, because I think she's gonna go on to say how awkward that would be for the co-workers. It could be something that is so beautiful and actually relaxes the situation at work and brings a new vibe into the whole place, so yeah. Honestly, it's yeah. very complicated. And since the Me Too thing, it's become much more complicated. But that's a but also, in, it, in a sense, it needs to be closely monitored that they are not biased. Um, that the, the, the bosses are not biased towards this worker that is also their lover. All in all, I think it's okay. You can, you know, people can definitely date their boss, not just to. I mean, I think I think love is love is love, and we shouldn't look at the levels thing. You know, this one is higher than the other, and 
all that kind of thing but it needs to be kept you know there needs to be a bit of it needs to be fair across the board it cannot be that this person employee slash lover then gets some kind of special treatment over everybody else that would be so unfair but to legislate it and to be to, to, to put some rules and legislations in place to say oh this person is from team a and this person is from team b okay they can be together like that way love becomes so manufactured and so weird and mm -mm. so anyway let me know what you think let me know what you think about it i don't know my my opinion might change at some you know your opinion can change as as life goes on and you have your own life experiences sometimes that can kind of change your views on things but for right now this is what i think and yeah i'm going to be reviewing stuff interesting stuff that i come across so yeah i hope you stay tuned and whatever you do make time for glorious life it's time to start living it right i'll see you in the next one take care bye all right i'm back and after speaking to my mom i don't know if i need to change my my train of thought <laughs> so i was like i'm doing this video on where it's okay to date your boss and he was like eh no 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 <laughs> it's, it's not okay <laughs> what did you say <laughs> what did you say huh you forgot it okay what do you think what do you think Okay, speak English and English only. Okay, so you're mixing you know how, annoying. How do you say Spanish? How annoying. Annoying. annoying horrible it is. It's not annoying, but it's something a bit nicer. But you know, seeing the man you love always walking in front of you, yeah, back and forth for sitting in some corner, some corner in the of uh, behind a desk somewhere, you are sitting somewhere looking at him all the time. No, I don't want it. Stay somewhere. Yeah, wouldn't, where you want to, wouldn't, you? wouldn't you absolutely love it to see your beloved all the time in the corner of your mm -hmm. eye, everywhere you yeah. turn? What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Hmm? There's something wrong. There's something wrong with that. Not in the face of other people. It's okay. <laughs> Well, have your love somewhere and me somewhere else and you okay, somewhere. But you can, your boss. Okay, but you can still be you can still be together and not do all this. No, if you do that, your boss will lose his job. Mm -hmm. The woman should be moved somewhere. Else. Why should the woman be moved? Hold on. No, actually, in this case, it would have to be the woman because the guy is the CEO of the entire company. Okay, or the man moves somewhere else. Good. No, but the thing is, you can do it without having all this public di display of affection. You can do it without all that. No, 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 it's not. Okay, so there's this, this, this is what brought this conversation up because the former boss of McDonald's has resigned from the board of the U.S. Um, I know. Superman. He was divorced. Oh, okay. But so... Maybe we've got for this guy, he divorced. Well, who knows, but... Names men and their eyes. They are so lost to everywhere they are looking. They see anybody with yes. people, they are looking at them. Yo. What is wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to an African mama. These mamas don't play. They generalize the crap out of everything and everybody. Like how you just generalize African moms. You so do not take offense. <laughs> This is how they speak. They speak their mind. No cap. No filter. Okay. It's very serious. I mean, yeah. I don't think it's that. This thing goes both Price ways. Smart. It goes both ways. Obviously, you know, there's some women out there that are like, ooh, if I catch this CEO. But anyway, I was saying in my video that it could just be love. And these days, finding love is an epidemic. Anyway, people are single. It's an epidemic. It's going around. Mm -hmm. Everybody is single out here. And so if people are going to find love and it happens to be your boss, I'm like, so what is wrong with that? If it's a very natural <laughs> thing, what is wrong with that? People are out here getting married no, at first sight. Way, they will not like no, they wouldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't more because well, they're jealous and they're like, okay, secret. where's my maybe knight in shining armor? They leave the job, leave the job, go and find a job somewhere else. Then you can have a relationship with him. Well, that's what, that's what one of the women was saying. Like maybe they should be in different divisions. Yeah, yeah. If they're in yeah, different, different divisions, it's okay. And I'm like, but what mm -hmm. if this naturally happens and it is sincere? And that happens a lot. And this sincere, and people have been married for decades. And then you're just gonna move people to different divisions and all that. Mm. 
you know, that's kind of sad. It doesn't have to be there. Yeah, it doesn't make productivity high or whatever. It lowers productivity. Some people, also. some people don't. No. As soon as they enter the doors, they they pretend. Nope, this is just my. In here, I will treat my you dog. like my employee. Period. There's people mm-hmm. who are able to separate, but then the other person. There are some people who are also immoral. They want everybody to know that they are dating the boss. Yeah. They put up tents, wear crazy clothes, and sure. no, 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 not not in the office. Just go somewhere. You know you are in love with the boss. Just look for another job so that you can be in love. <laughs> this emba- yeah, this embarrassing things. It doesn't help. It doesn't have to be embarrassing. It it's be- not embarrassing, but I mean, I mean, now the man has lost the job because of that. You know, it's not fair. Well, there's way more to this story. Everywhere I look, I it's just small snippets of the thing. I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. there is way mm-hmm. more to this story. Like, mm-hmm. you, you guys mm-hmm. can't just put that, only that out there. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. There's I way make more to this story. That, that is the only thing. Mm-hmm. How did people know that he is dating that woman? I don't think the well, woman Well, this is where you can, well, okay. I'm even so confused. Because CEO of McDonald's, they... Oh, <clears throat> Okay, no, no, I need to find more information. Because who's the girl? Where does she work if she works in... They don't want to show the girl. Employee, how? Like an employee, somebody who's flipping burgers or who? What kind of employee are we talking about? Uh, maybe she's also on a higher rank somewhere, closer to him. Mm. Uh, you can also be flipping burgers. Nah, it might not be like that. Look, nah. the CEO, they don't go where the burgers are made at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you not be a beggar flipper. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it not out there? Who Unless they are on the under, undercover, uh, then they go Undercover there boss, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss, yeah, yeah. If it's not an undercover boss, you will never get to know those people who flip the beggars. Nah, that's true. Uh-huh. Okay, he, they say McDonald's has long-standing rules against conflicts of interest. That is a problem. Uh-huh. That is a problem. There's uh-huh. conflict of interest there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And in the era of the Me Too, companies are very keen to be seen not only to have as, a policy of this type of yeah. situation, but also to seem to be enforcing it at all levels. I guess so. Yeah, that that, that actually makes sense. You can never be too careful. Mm. So yeah, now now that I've had a reality check by talking to my mom and had a reality check of what kind of world we actually live in, I think I kind of need to deviate, huh? uh, slide to the left and be like, nah, I think it can actually it's, bring it, a lot it's of all unacceptable. Yeah. That's crazy. No, it's not. You predicted this would happen. My, my opinion might change at some point. That's crazy. Just goes to show you have a lot of these review channels and people speak their mind on something, but you can so easily be persuaded or have a reality uh, check uh-huh, that you uh-huh, just change uh-huh. everything. So not everything that people are saying on these review channels is factual, is facts. Uh, stick to your own uh, guns, stick to your own morals, stick to your own thoughts. Uh, do your own morals, research. Do your own research and find out. What, what your stance is going to be but also don't knock anybody down for having a different stance because your stance might change in the future uh-huh. and these days everything goes online and it is out there forever and you you know one day somebody might pull up and say hey you said this and that and you were also being disrespectful about uh-huh. other people having different opinions so just a thought uh-huh. anyway thanks for watching this was my video featuring my mom <laughs> about to be famous <laughs> <laughs> She's got a lot of wisdom. I'll put her on my videos many more times. You'll only get to hear her voice though. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. that was it. Uh-huh. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. you know what to do make sure you hit on stomp and stomp on that subscribe button and whilst you're at it hit the notification bell don't miss any future uploads see you in the next one let me know what we should talk about next and leave your comments down below thank you